Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the CCA News Network. I'd like to introduce you to Samuel Richard Stepper. Thank you, Lila. Now I'm going to talk to you about two serious weather conditions. Tornadoes and hurricanes. Okay. Tornadoes are swirling winds but can go up to the top to 300 miles per hour. Most tornadoes strike in Texas to South Dakota. It's a part called Tornado Alley. It's where most of the tornadoes go. Global winds create the super self thunderstorm that can lead to a tornado. It's when warm air from the Gulf of Mexico and cold air from Indiana it collides and makes brutal tornadoes. A tornado lasts about 20 seconds to an hour. So if you're in a tornado, you better pray it's really quick. Or else if it takes a long time, you're going to be in trouble. Here are three suggested ways to keep safe during a tornado. Hide in a basement. You don't want to hide on the roof because your house can get toppled down. And away from windows. And in, and if you have a place, and if you have room, go to a bathroom. Why studying for you guys in tornado's apartment? Well, let's say you're just walking home in a tornado ditch. You're going to die. And you're never going to know what happens. Well, we're going to predict when or where the tornadoes will come from so you don't die. Here's one of the best ways to keep safe. When you're home, it's safe to go to the lowest level of home, the center from a small room, away from windows, and underneath furniture, evacuate all home because it's stupid to be in a normal home uh, for a tornado. And outside, when you should lie flat in a ditch. Now, that's all I have to say about tornadoes. Now, we're going to talk about hurricanes. Hurricanes are also called cyclones and typhoons. Hurricanes, they happen in these two seasons, summer and fall. When a hurricane forms, the temperature needs to reach 82 degrees Fahrenheit. When the winds exceed 39 miles per hour, we call it a tropical storm. I experienced a tropical storm when I was in a humongous water park and my sister and me were in the hotel. It was really big. When it reaches 74 miles per hour, it makes it a hurricane. The most violent section of a hurricane is the eye wall. The most common part of the hurricane is called the eye. The eye? And one of the most dangerous part of the hurricane is storm surge. This is the wall. This is a wall of water that sweeps across the water. Now that's all I have to say about hurricanes and tornadoes. Now, what inspired me to be a marine a, a meteorologist was this video when I experienced when I was doing a when I was in a hurricane. Hi, Sammy. This is me as a baby in Hurricane Wilma that occurred in 2005. And I have no idea what I'm whining about right now, but it must have been important because I was a baby. Yeah. As you can see, the winds are really strong back there. And this is the first section of the hurricane. This is my cousin Cameron. He joined us during the hurricane. And he seems shocked in the hurricane. And then, so that's just, it was a really crazy storm. The winds were shaking and it, the trees were shaking and everything was shaking. Go. This is the calm part called the eye. And I was, talk, I was talking to you about when I was reading the hurricane. Just everywhere. And my dad's window broke. It was a brutal hurricane. Palm front took it out right here. It was Watch out, okay. this is the glass over here. So. This is the part where it's the eye and it's all calm. But it's going to get crazy after that part. Don't let them walk over here. We're lucky nothing got dented. Yeah, we got lucky it wasn't that bad. But <laughs> yeah, a lot of grass blew over. Like, see all those leaves there? Yeah. My dad just got this truck, so that was a bummer. We're probably going to come up for 500 bucks. Hey, and there's little man. Hey, Cameron. Now the other half is starting again. It's gonna get crazy, crazy again. And then we're gonna end. You wanna see? It's done. And thank you for watching Samuel Stepford as I showed you who inspired me to be a young man. Back to you, Lila.